Hey there, sweethearts. It's your girl, Nessa. Thank you for coming back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I do apologize. I have really crappy lighting here. I'm downstairs, still trying to figure out where exactly I'm going to be recording videos, and I don't have my ring light on me right now. It is upstairs, but we're just going to have to do. Um, today's video, I'm going to be answering some questions that some of my followers on Instagram have sent me about my pregnancy and then I'm just going to show you a little haul of some of the maternity clothes that I purchased at Ross so yep yeah. um by the way I just finished doing this makeup look I know it looks crappy in the lack of light that I have here but I used the um Morphe and James Charles palette mini palette actually and if you're interested in knowing how i came up with this look over to my blog in two weeks that will be january 26 is when the post is going to go up i am going to post a pictorial of how i achieved this look i'm not really confident in doing videos yet for my makeup looks i just do pictorials so you're gonna have to deal with it but anyway we're gonna go ahead and go into the questions so first question that I have is from Jazica O what are you craving the most and what was your first feeling slash sign that there was a high possibility that you were pregnant so there's nothing in particular like specific that I'm craving generally though I'm craving everything sweet it's bad real bad like I always have to have something sweet whether it's after my lunch or after my dinner but every day there needs to be something sweet it could be ice cream it could be cake it could be cupcakes it could be cookies just something sweet and I'm trying to control that because I haven't gotten my uh because I haven't done the gestational diabetes test yet and I want to make sure that my sugars are under control prior to getting pregnant when my OB knew that I wanted to start getting pregnant I did have my sugars tested and they were fine but who knows pregnancy just does weird things to you um, for the second part of the question man okay the first sign I had thrown Alejandro a surprise birthday party but in order to get him to the venue his cousin and his cousin's girlfriend came over to the house and you know we're just chilling with us we were kind of acting like oh what should we do today yada 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 we finally came up with bowling which was the setup because we had to get him over there jazzy was taking care of everyone over there at the venue while we were over here trying to like stall and make sure everyone else was there but it wouldn't be us if we didn't pregame and all my friends know me I drink I instigate so I got the drinks out we had tequila which is kind of like our poison of choice when it comes to that grouping right there and usually I can just go shot after shot after shot after shot and no problem well that day we took like two shots and I was kind of like mm, I don't really want this right now or I don't you know my body was kind of just rejecting it I didn't throw up I just wasn't feeling it which is so unlike me so I kind of was weirded out by that at first um, the other thing too is that we had a hookah going and everyone knows that I love my hookah so usually I can sit on the hookah for a few minutes and then pass it but I would just literally take a couple of hits and then pass it along because I was like Ugh, I don't really want this right now this isn't you know this doesn't really taste good so I kind of had a feeling right then and there um, and then in addition to that my period was supposed to start that weekend and it didn't I was spotting and I was just kind of thinking well maybe I'm just a couple of days late but <laughs> I spotted and then the spotting stopped and so that's when I was like well I got one pregnancy test left let me go ahead and use that before I head to work so that's how I kind of knew that I was pregnant 
Okay, next question comes from Charlize Rose, who's my cousin. She asks, have you watched birth vlogs yet on YouTube? Are you nervous slash excited to be in labor? So I haven't really watched any birth vlogs. The only thing that I've watched was Shane Mitchell's little mini series. Um, I don't know if that really counts because she did, she was vlogging while she was in labor, but it was all dark. You could, couldn't actually see anything. Um, surprisingly, that's the only, that's the only vlog that I've watched. I don't know why. I should start watching vlogs just to kind of prepare myself, I guess. I don't know. Um, as far as being nervous slash excited, I'm kind of like not even there yet just because I am focused on the present. I'm just focusing on my pregnancy right now. So I'm not even really thinking about labor yet, if that makes sense. So I don't know. I'll let you know when I get there. <laughs> but right now I'm kind of indifferent to it. I don't know if I'm nervous or excited. I just am. So yeah. Next question comes from Julia Boo. Her question is, what's your favorite part about pregnancy and what are you looking forward to the most? My favorite part about pregnancy is just knowing that I'm creating a little miracle inside of me. Our bodies just do amazing things, just in general. As a woman, you're creating life in there. I'm creating life in here. So that would definitely have to be my favorite part. And the thing I'm looking forward to the most is just meeting my baby girl. Um, we're super excited. We've been wanting a girl. And so just to be able to hold her in my arms for the first time is gonna be the thing that I look forward to the most. Okay. And then the last question that I receive is from A Lovely Vibe. Are you opting for in-home birthing or in hospital? When I was younger, and by younger I mean like 21, 22, so six, seven years ago, I thought about home birthing. I thought about, you know, just birthing in the tub or having a pool set up indoors. And then as I got older, I kind of realized I don't want all those people inside of my house. I don't want to have to deal with like the setup and whatnot um, and the takedown of it. So I'm actually just going to opt for in hospital. The medical insurance that I have through my employer, which is Kaiser, is actually great. Um, they pay for everything. Like it is 100% covered. So I'm just going to go into the hospital. But I will say that I want to labor as much as I can at home. So. You know, I'm gonna wait for my contractions to be a little bit more um, regular before I head in because why be uncomfortable in the hospital with a bunch of things like stuck in my arms and whatnot and monitoring me. Um, so I'm just gonna try to labor as much as possible at home and then head into the hospital. I do have to be careful though because the hospital that we're choosing to give birth at is like 35 minutes away and that's without traffic so so god help me if there is traffic the day that i go into labor i might have to go to the one that's like 10 or 15 minutes away but we'll see what happens okay so while i was editing my video i realized i forgot to include a question um so the last question is from yeni balareso and her question was what is your weirdest like craving combo so I haven't actually had any of those like weird combination cravings like pickles and ice cream or anything like that um, honestly I don't have anything the weirdest thing that some people have judged me on was my ice cream flavors that I chose like at this local place that I go to I mix mint chocolate chip ice cream with a scoop of birthday cake ice cream. And it's really not that bad. It's not that weird. At least I don't think it's weird. It tastes hell good. It's like a birthday cake with mint chocolate chip ice cream. That's all that it is. So yeah, that's probably the weirdest thing that I have. Um, but look out guys because Jen, aka Yanni Balarezo on Instagram, uh, is 
my husband's cousin's girlfriend. She and her boyfriend want to uh, come over one of these days. And the two of them always ask me, any word combos? Any word combos? So I think I'm going to do a vlog with them featured in it. And just, just watch out for it. It'll be fun. Okay, so those are all the questions that I had from some followers on my Instagram. Or, oh yeah, on my Instagram. Um, it came from both my personal Instagram, which is It's Necessary, and my blogging Instagram, which is Dolce Vida Nessa, as you guys know. So the next portion that I'm going to go into is the little mini haul of maternity clothes that I picked up with my grandma. She wanted to take me out to go get maternity clothes um, as like part of my Christmas present. So I thought that was really sweet of her. Um, I didn't want to get anything too expensive because for me, I'm realistic. I'm frugal. I don't like to spend a lot of money on a piece of clothing that I'm not going to wear for that long. I'm literally just wearing it for a few months, um, maybe a couple of months after I give birth. But yeah, I just don't believe in spending a butt ton of money on maternity clothes. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got from Ross, which is a great place to go. Definitely check it out if you are pregnant or if you're looking for maternity clothes. Um, I will say though that not every piece is actually a maternity piece. Some of them I just got plus size because the selection wasn't all that great or it wasn't all that big. Really, let me say that. It's not that it wasn't great, it just wasn't that big of a selection. So I, my grandma said, well, why don't you just look at the plus size clothes? You, you'll fit them. And so I just did that instead. So let me go ahead and get everything. Okay, so this could be a little TMI for people. Shouldn't be though. Maybe for guys, if guys watch my channel. But the first couple of things that I decided to pick up were some nursing bras. Um, again, these were from Ross. Each of them were only $6.99. So I'm just gonna hold up one of these right now. This comes from the brand Under Control. Um, I did try it on just to make sure that it fit me. It was super soft, super comfortable. It actually gave me enough support that I would need. But the thing that I absolutely love about it is that it has this clasp here where you can just latch it down. So not only can I use this now while I'm pregnant, but I can use it afterward for nursing. So if I'm out and about or I just need, or if I'm sleeping even, and then it's time to feed the baby, I can just clasp this down and then, you know, breastfeed. So I got one in beige and I got one in black. The thing that I was surprised about with the black one was that this was a one size fits all. Um, I didn't think that it would fit me because I have a very wide frame. Um, and then just to let you guys know, this is, it says a maternity must have. Oh, Kathy Maternity, that's the brand. Um, but yeah, I was actually really surprised that this was one size fits all. This one was also, oh, actually, sorry. This one is $7.99. So yeah, one size fits all, does fit me. Um, if I wanted to be a little bit more comfortable, I probably would add one of those bra extenders on the back, but it does fit. But if I just want it to be a little looser, cause I'm not about like tight form fitting things, then I would definitely add an extender to this. So the next thing I got was a pair of maternity jeans. So if you know me, I hate jeans. I do not like wearing jeans at all. I am a yoga pants type of person slash leggings type of person. My whole thing is athleisure. Look at me. I like, I am wearing yoga pants right now and a volleyball sweatshirt from when I coached St. David's a couple of years ago. Jeans really aren't my thing, but maternity jeans, hell yes. These things are so freaking comfortable. So this is from Bella Vita Maternity. 
And you guys, these were only 16 bucks. They were $15.99, you can't go wrong with that. So for this one here, I got this, what size did I get this in? But, oh, I got these in an extra large. So this part here, like right before the scene for the billy band here, it sits like right on my hips. And then this goes over the belly and it makes it so comfortable. Oh my God. And then it just kind of smooths everything out. So then when you wear a shirt on top of it, it, it doesn't look all weird you just get a nice round belly um the other part that i liked about it that my grandma wasn't exactly the biggest fan of <laughs> was the fact that it is distressed so i love the style and i love the wash on these but yeah they're distressed jeans my grandma or actually grandpa calls them holy pants but yeah i really love them so Get yourself some maternity jeans from Ross. So I'm actually not allowed to wear jeans at work. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm an occupational therapist or OT and I work in an outpatient clinic, but yeah, we're not allowed to wear jeans at work. So I'm kind of trying to get away with it by picking up some black pair of pants. Again, they're also maternity pants that has the belly band up top. This is from Bella Vita. Uh, excuse me. This is from Bella Vita. Again, Bella Vita maternity, which is the same brand as the blue jeans that I just showed you guys. And this one here is only $12. I got this in an extra large as well. Um, this one is not distressed, but it does have a cuff on the bottom, which makes it really cute to wear with sneakers or even wedges. Um, so I can wear this at work or I can wear it at, you know, out and about. Um, but yeah, it's just plain black. Again, super comfortable, only 12 bucks. Go get yourself some of these pants. As I said earlier, I'm not a big fan of jeans. I'm more about that athleisure style. So I did pick up a pair of maternity leggings. There's um cozy leggings and when i first saw them on the rack uh they felt really thick oh and i just noted i didn't realize there was a drawstring here but they felt really thick um and when i tried them on they were a lot more sheer than i'd like them to be so yes you can see through them um but i'm not stupid i don't wear bright colored underwear under sheer things also because i am pregnant i am trying to find things that are like tops that are longer that will cover my butt so that's why i didn't mind picking these up actually i think my cousin katie um who was the one who recommended me to get things at ross and she's pregnant too guys she's the one who's due 10 days before me um i think she actually got a pair of these because she was telling me that she got them for eight bucks and then these are $8.99, so I think we actually got the same pair of leggings. But yeah, these were extremely comfortable. Like I said though, they are super sheer. So if that's something that you are concerned about, just be careful, make sure you're wearing the correct underwear underneath it, and then just, you know, wear a long top and cover everything. You know, be classy. Okay, so I got this top here which is really cute again from Ross everything here is from Ross this is from French pastry maternity I'm gonna back up here so you guys can see the top a little bit more so that's it you can see that this is long so when I went into the fitting room and tried on the last pair of leggings that I just showed you guys. I paired it with this shirt and or blouse and this blouse covers the area that is too sheer. So this is like a perfect thing to pair that with. What I really like is the detail on the sleeves. There are cutouts here on the shoulder, which I love. I love details like this. I love showing my shoulders off because of my tattoos. 
So I like to have my tattoo show when I can. Um, and this is like the perfect top for it. But I also really love the color. I think burgundy is just such a pretty color. It kind of looks good on everybody. So yeah. And this was, oh, this was only $3.99. It was reduced. If I had known, I would have picked up another one. This one here is from Ambiance Maternity. It's just a simple long sleeve v-neck. This one isn't quite long enough to cover the leggings that I showed you guys. Um, it does look a little small-ish. I mean, okay, here's the thing. I got it in extra large. I am a bigger girl, so I'm like 5'3", but I have a very wide frame and fussy, so I have to get things in extra large. The thing with this is the sides are ruched. So it helps because it stretches and it grows with you as your belly grows. So that's why I opted for something like this. I wanted something simple that I could dress up or dress down. Like I can pair it with some cute necklaces, um, you know, just accessorize, have a cute purse with me. But yeah, this was $5.99. What a steal. Because I will say I looked on Amazon for maternity clothes but again i just couldn't justify paying like 30 dollars for a top or 30 dollars for pants i looked at target too and i the thing with target is i didn't really like the selection that i had there plus things were expensive i did buy one pair of pants at target they were maternity pants they're green if you guys saw my kim possible outfit from halloween the um, olive green pants are the ones that I did purchase. So that was my first purchase for maternity clothes, but I thought, mm, never again, I'm gonna head to Ross for the rest of it. Okay. So that was it for the maternity clothes. The rest of the things that I got are actually just plus size. Um, Cause like I said, there wasn't as much of a selection for maternity clothes. So I just opted for plus size items. So this is just a 1x blouse. Super simple but extremely pretty because it comes with a little necklace on it. So this is more loose fitting but it's long. Again, long enough to cover those leggings in the sheer areas <coughs> if I decide to pair it with those. But look at how gorgeous this one is. So that comes with the shirt and this was only $10.99 so 11 bucks so not bad, right? I'm gonna be careful when I put this away because I don't want this to get caught and tangled again again one X blouse simple black blouse but it has this gold detail around the neckline This was only $9.99. So this one I actually really do love because I could also wear this after I give birth. Um, this is like perfect for work too, so is the other one. Like all the tops I can wear to work. Um, but I actually really, really like this. I told myself that I needed to start accessorizing more, but I kind of suck at accessorizing because one, like I'll do it for a day or two and then after I take the accessories off, I don't put them back on. Two, I kind of just suck. I don't know what goes with what when it comes to accessories. Um, so I'm kind of cheating with like the last two outfits or the last two tops that I just showed you guys because it comes with its own accessories. Two for one, why not? And the last thing I got was this blouse here, which is kind of a nice transitional piece from winter to spring. Oops. Sorry, it's tangled. Here we go. So it's a cute knit blouse. Again, plus size. I got this in a 1X. Um, not quite long enough to cover the 
leggings but I can pair it with one of the jeans that I purchased and then again loving the details it has buttons here on the sleeves so I actually like I was drawn to that first I saw it hanging in the rack and I saw the buttons and I was like oh what's this and so decided to get that also I didn't try this one on I didn't try any of the plus size tops on but I'm looking at this now and it's a dolman sleeve and I love dolman tops they just I don't know because I have that wide frame like it it yes it kind of accentuates the wide frame but then again it also tapers in because of the sleeves so if you guys don't know what dolman is um, it, it's kind of like a bat wing almost where it starts wide and then it just tapers in towards your waist and so I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this compare it with some boots and the jeans so yeah oh and then price $13.99 so all of this here I got for like well I didn't get my grandma purchased it for me um so i think it all came out to like a hundred dollars for three pants and what one two three four five five tops if i were to get that anywhere else we would have been looking at at least two hundred dollars so if you're frugal like me and you're a little bit more realistic about having maternity clothes and just you know knowing that you're only gonna wear them for so many months go to ross um they have they have cute selections and like you can do what i did go to the plus size section it works just as well maybe it's not gonna like hug your bump like maternity clothes are uh, you know are meant to do or do but they're still cute um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have more questions for me about my pregnancy, feel free to shoot me a DM at my Instagram. Go follow me at Dolce Vita Nessa. Check out my blog at dolcevitanessa.wordpress.com. And if you like what you're seeing and if you want to keep following along with my pregnancy journey and with my vlogs, because I'll do like makeup vlogs on trips and whatnot, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button like this video shoot me a comment hit the bell so that you can get notifications whenever i have a new video up all right thanks guys bye